So when I kind of became this conservative public figure in Oregon and the U.S., um, the George Floyd's George Floyd riots started, mm -hmm. and BLM posted online that the first place they were going to burn down was Glamour Salon and kick Lindsey Graham's butt. And someone, people started sharing this post with me and alerting me. I said, man, I did not just slave the last month to like save my salon, just to have it burned down. Right. So I did a call to arms public on my Facebook page and um, found that 400 patriots had showed up outside my salon Whoa. when I got down there. Yeah, motorcycle gangs. No way. Um, I didn't know about yeah, this. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, the news didn't cover this. That's no, they crazy. They didn't want to have any interest in covering this. Um, banker gangs, three percenters, military, ex-police officers, veterans, you name it, men, women. Um, so I was running ops in front of my salon, sending wow. men and women to different um, locations downtown. Everyone was saying, I, oh, I'm not in town you know, can you go protect my my store? Right. And so I'd send three or four guys down to protect a store and we didn't have any broken windows. Then no shots were fired. Nothing, nothing was looted. And wow. um, someone in the police department, I won't say who, called me the next day and said, you know, I can never say this publicly. Um, but if you hadn't done that, Salem would look like Portland, Oregon. You, you single-handedly saved the, the city. Wow. And 